how to spot a fake uh, infield. Um, recently I did a breakdown analysis of, of uh, some uh, infields and one of them looked really fake to me and so I decided to make this video and try to create some sort of a method or structure to try and figure out how I was able to identif identify this fake infield and more of an educational blog post so that you will be able to figure out how to identify a fake infield in the future. Uh, I think the most famous was uh, Tom Torero. I think he came clean. Um, uh, Nick Krauser, who's friends with the guy, got a DM from him and wrote a blog post about that and linked the blog post that uh, Tom Torero wrote admitting that it was a fake infield. So we have had infields that have been faked in the past and I thought that it would be quite useful for you guys out there to try and um, have some sort of a structure so that you can figure out what is a fake infield, how to identify a fake infield. And so I wrote this blog post, top link in the description, um, so you can try to come to some sort of a, um, have some sort of a structure how you can uh, identify a fake infield. So let's start with the beginning of it. Filming someone can have legal consequences. So filming someone can have legal consequences. Uh, if you've done any cold approach, you'll, you'll know that the, the hook ratio is not always in your favor. <laughs> uh, you could spend a day out there and, and do lots of approaches and not one of them hook. Um, that isn't always a reflection of your game. That could be just the reflection of how it is out there. Uh, there's a lot of barriers to entry. You gotta have a cameraman, you gotta have the right equipment, the audio equipment, everything. It can be difficult, so if you can fake one, it's easier, right? Also, there is the, the question, or question, you could question someone's uh, game as well. So there is a bit of a barrier to en entry, but um, is her body language natural? Now, one thing that I would I would notice is that uh, on a fake infield, the girl is focused one hundred percent on the guy. She's one hundred percent compliant. She is covering her face from the camera. It's as if she knows with her body language where the camera is and how to avoid it, so that they don't have to edit it that much. Uh, it's almost like they're they're two virgins on a first date, and she's like, oh oh no, you speak. Oh, that's all right. I'll speak. You know, a cold approach doesn't work that way. If the girl's super nervous uh, and a hundred percent agreeable, as if like no matter what he says, she's going to agree with him, it seems to be quite fake. I do have uh, experience helping people film pranks, um, and those pranksters they have faked pranks in the past, and I've seen it firsthand. Um, was it natural? Cameraman, positioning on the camera, was the camera shaky? Can the cameraman be seen by the general public? Uh, if the cameraman just sitting there with the camera like this in their face while they're in public and there's people walking around, there's a very good chance that it's a fake infield no matter how bad the act, no, how, no matter how good the acting is. Uh, the proximity of the cameraman to, uh, to it the, to the infield is, is very important. If they're standing right on top of them, sure, it better be some real minute, you know, hidden camera. Then it's going to be a little bit more shaky. Then the quality is not going to be so good. But if the quality is awesome, it's perfect, it's stable, as if the person's literally standing on top of them, it's pretty much like a sitcom or a movie with a cameraman just there. Uh, if the opener, there's no shit test, she doesn't give him any problems, all of these things, you know, not one of these things will tell you what a fake infield is, but I think all of them combined can add to it. A lot of experienced guys can see this. If you've done a lot of approaches yourself, you'll be able to spot fake infields. Um, yeah, I've got a blog post, top link in the description, check it out. Um, 
a little bit more in depth on why I think people fake infields and how to kind of spot one. She's too agreeable. She tends to know where the camera is. The cameraman seems to be in a location that is really obvious that the general public should be able to see. Uh, the cameraman might get spotted by her and doesn't move. <laughs> um, so many things. Is the guy nervous? Is he chewing chewing gum? Is he, uh, is, it, is he nervous because he knows he's fake in an infield and he's trying to do his best to not look like it's fake? All of these things combined can help you to spot a fake infield. This is just a quick little video. Hopefully it's been a little bit enlightening to you guys. Uh, top link in the description if you want a little bit more depth on this topic. Um, but I'll see you guys in the next video.